So we finally have an all-in lane with Tam Kench support, which means we will rush Collector. And uh, whether Immortal Shield or Kraken Slayer, we will see. Um, against Lethal Tempo Trundle, probably just Shield Bow. So Collector Shield Bow, i.e. Sounds viable. Fake leeching is stupid, so I will approach the wave right away. There's so no reason to give them an advantage here by letting them shove the wave for level 2 advantage. But uh, yeah, hello for the misfortune, it's over on YouTube as well. Live streaming on Twitch right now, link in the description. And Jin is naturally faster at pushing the misfortune, so... Chances are they will still get the level 2 advantage. Oh god, those lags. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, at least I haven't lost a minion for that. Or, you know, given them a kill. Yeah. Here we are pushing for level 2. We get it. Alright, alright, solid damage on all of us. <laughs> yeah, Jin is dangerous early game. Yumi isn't, but Jin is. Anyway, once we get that serrated duck, first component. Oh god, why why am I lagging so hard? What's wrong? I have no idea. But yeah, um Once we have Serrated Dirk, we can follow up on Tom Kench's engages much better. With much more damage. Okay. Waves crashing. Kind of. Okay, as long as I don't kill Tom Kench, I'm happy. You can base. I will stay. I won't. If I base, I, if I base, I'll just lose resources for no reason. You don't want to base first this AD carry. I always want to base. I always want to force the enemy AD carry to base first. Did they base? They might. I have summoners, so I can afford to. Push. Even if they're there, I'm, I won't die. Okay, this should be under tower. And I can base for Noon Quiver. Or no, wait, what am I talking about? <laughs> I'm rushing Serrated Duck, so I can base for Serrated Duck. <laughs> I just remembered that I actually played this build. Um, wait for more mana. Yep, there we go. And now with Serrated Dark, we're so strong. It's unreal how strong you are with this item. Kench currently roaming. Question is, when exactly do I get execu Executioners? I think after Shield Bow. Get Executioners, get IE, get Lord Doms. Nice, she get tower hit because of Scorch. Oh, I'm here for this. That's Jin's flash. That's perfect. I take it. Uh, could you please not int? Be nice. <laughs> I will still die. Yeah. So will they. That's so worth. Nice. Now shove in this wave and get out of there. 
Very well played by my team. Yeah, Jin went way too aggressive. Way too aggressive. Like, hot damn. <laughs> Yeah, certainly good. Very high attack damage, 55. <clears throat> but I'm out of potions. Um, I could just buy a Vamp Scepter next base if I can't afford, if I just can't afford Collector, I buy Vamp Scepter. I barely cannot afford it. I'll keep myself covered. I'm 1v2, potentially 1v3. Gotta respect. Yeah. Just gotta respect. There's no reason to do anything fancy. Again, lagging. Doesn't matter though, still won the fights. Look at the kill to LeBlanc. She went he, she walked all the long way. Might as well. But yeah, this is why we want the Serrated Dirk. We have such strong follow-up. It's crazy. They already respawns, but I still take this plating. I have so much AD and lethality that it doesn't take too long. Alright. There we go. Huge advantage. Getting the full collector. And now working towards Shield Bell. So if you go shield, but we don't even, yeah, we don't need to go bloodthirst at all. But I will still buy it late because it's, it's such a good misfortune item. And this game, this, 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 and this for sure. Then last item. I don't know. We can't. Yeah, we, we're we're actually maxed out on crit then. We'll see. The game most likely won't even go that long. Just take the wave. Okay. Jin might not even be in lane. I have both summoners, I will risk it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Yeah, I need to respect. It's a 1v2 again. I just need to wait for Tom Kench to come and then we can kill them. If he gets a good engage, then just yeah, we can ult. Crazy. Huh. She died to the Kench damage. But yeah, this is exactly what I mean. Just need to respect the numbers advantage they have while they have it. And as soon as Kench comes in with his crowd control, we all in. With the collector ulti. And that's another plating for me. Potentially even more. I'll pop this and help the team. Don't have life steal yet. They haven't bought. Yeah, I haven't bought items. So. I want to be safe if I can.
He might know. You don't know if he knows. That's very likely warded, the way he's playing. Okay. Good base timing. Yeah, he stayed, but again, I, I need to... I want to spend this gold. I'm so rich. But gold doesn't give you combat stats. Items do. I'm not willing to wait 10 seconds for the upgrade. 10 seconds is 20 gold and passive gold generation, so... That's what I mean when I say that. But, um... It's also time you don't spend on the map. Um, right now I'm very strong. I want to spend time on the map. Want to be there. Want to pressure. Take platings. Get more gold. Yeah, now Jin is kind of stuck against a fed misfortune with a collector. Attacking tower is a little greedy of me. But I see most of them. So it should be alright. But yeah, I don't want to just farm. I want to put my lead to use. Which is why I'm roaming right now. If you can take down mid lane tower or take some plating so I get damage on this thing. That's very good. Jin followed as well. Tried to hit him with an EQ combo, didn't quite work. He walked out of range too quickly. Then I'll just rotate back bot lane. Push the wave there. So I can keep my farm as high as possible while still being in positions where I can be relevant. In plays. Oh, okay, should have pressed W for that one. I should be greedy. Attacking towers is such a huge commitment, especially when Drake is on the map. It's very likely they're just there. So, I'll just push past River Rome like a good citizen. Uh, flashed out before my collector could trigger. Feels bad, <laughs> but he died and wasted his flash, so it's actually better for us. Yeah, we're crushing them right now. Like, there's nothing they can do. We snowballs too hard. Way too hard. They're spawning. But I can take another wave, can't I? Bolt rank 2. Actually taking that wave was greedy. I might die for this. Risk. Yeah, taking that wave was a mistake, actually. Failed my back timing. This was so risky. Had this been warded, I would have been dead 100%. Uh, Infinity Edge next. Yeah, I don't think I need an early... Um, you know... Early executioners. I think I can delay it. We're so far ahead. And we have two Ignites on the team. Yeah, my, my failed back timing, my play cost me the wave. I 
got earlier, so it, it, it's, it's a net neutral in terms of minions. And I lost tower damage, and I um, risked dying, so definitely a misplay. Don't want to give out a free tower. My team's doing Baron. Oh, no, it's, it's Herald, not Baron. It's way too early in the game, what am I talking about? Okay, push past River Rome. Easiest way to win a game when you're ahead. And when you're behind, it's also still the safest way to play, but... People... If, if you are one of those people who... Um, who win lane but lose game, do more push past River Rome. It's such an easy strategy. Super easy to execute. Goodness gracious. I took a lot of tower shots. At least I didn't feed away my shutdown, for what it's worth. Jin no ulti, but Jin has, you know, flash gale force and stuff. I don't want to risk that. Much rather life steal off of those chickens. Give them some tower damage. We're well, making sure not to die. <laughs> It's very important. Sitting on my shutdown gold is uh, key to winning this game. To not start throwing. Okay. I can base for BF Sword, and I will. But yeah, I definitely need executioners after Infinity Edge. It's Yumi is starting to get big. This base is a little bit shaky because my entire team's on the map. But this BF sword is so powerful. And I just hope they're good enough to not start fighting randomly. This is a Diamond 1 slash uh, low master. Well, actually, it's one master play in this lobby. But this is still high enough elo that I don't expect my team to make random misplays anymore. If I were on a smurf account, I would not have taken that base. I would have just sat on 1,300 gold. Yeah, I can't take it. Drake and 10. I want that. I want that for sure. They're not even close. It's not the best build at taking Drake. We'll get the job done, though. I hope. Play for objectives. Yeah. Take the free stuff, win the game, you know. They're not on Baron, are they? There she is. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with that call. We're ahead, we have uh, numbers advantage because Vex just died. And Cannon is bot lane. Yeah, we take that. That was, uh, that was just a pure frustration play from the enemy jungler. There's no way... I mean, this play never works. It's just like... 
you feel obligated to do stuff because you're, you're frustrated. I don't, I don't know, because you want to turn things around. You want to, don't want to sit there passively. But again, it's a very important skill in League of Legends to realize when you need to give up an objective to, um, you know, not fall even further behind. Because losing an objective is bad, yes, but dying and still losing the objective is even worse. Might even lead to losing another objective on top. But yeah, again, they're just... They're, they're disadvantaged to snowballing out of control because they just die for no reason when they really should cut their losses by giving up objectives. Can I might try something crazy? You gotta respect. Stay at a safe distance. Okay. Out of respects. I wouldn't hate just basing. I have 2,200 gold. Get this, get this. Nice! Alright. Next item I want Lord Doms, for sure. 350, 80, 60% crit. Infinity Edge Amplifier, we deal crazy damage. Yeah, we still have a quarter of a Baron buff left. Just siege. There's no reason to do anything else. You see Vex, but you can engage from range, of course. Okay. Yeah. Alright, give me the Penta. Okay, or not. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I mean. They have good engage. And I almost got caught there. But I have good damage, so... GG, my friends. Three honors. S+. Plus. One win away from entering Master Promos. Fingers crossed. Most damage in the game. Yeah, again. Early lethality, super good to snowball with an all-in support. And uh, we still can have a very secure late game with crit items. It's it's just very nice. It, it, I really like this, especially when you need item slots. Just going Immortal Shield Bow to, for your Mythic to uh, have a source of lifesteal without needing to sit on Vamp Scepter. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, this, it, it has a lot of intricacies to all of this that I still need to figure out. But uh, this is what I'm currently playing in all-in lanes. Um, if you want to see the other variations of the build, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.